So we're here in Tennessee, sunny Tennessee, at the Charlie Hafner Memorial Firearms Range, and I'm with my good pal Harold Rushton. Now, not only is Harold one of the world's greatest ever field target shooters, he's also a highly experienced pistol instructor, and he's gonna be running me through today how to use these bad boys here. So Harold, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do. Well, what we do here is uh, we teach people from basic pistol, rifle, uh, all the way up to uh, highly experienced uh, firearms people that's been in, into shooting all their life. Uh, we can teach you, if you've never shot a pistol before, uh, the proper stance, grip, side alignment, trigger control, uh, how to actually function with the pistol, uh, how to get on target, how to make hits you know, really slow, really methodically, and learn how to do it correctly. And then we can walk you through the steps to, to where you get to an intermediate point and then all the way up to an expert level. So. We go from zero all the way up to the highly advanced and we'll teach people how to go from nothing, no experience whatsoever, all the way up to if you're really experienced, know what you're doing, just try to fine tune that and tweak it. Uh, my background's in law enforcement, tactical operations. I was a state trooper for many years. And uh, so I spent a lot of time in not only learning these things myself, but also helping other law enforcement officers. I was a firearms instructor when I worked for the state. Uh, I'm also an NRA firearms instructor as well now. So uh, we can teach these guys, ladies, uh, whatever, either way, children, young guys are just learning how to shoot all the way from zero to expert level. Cool. How about complete morons? Hey, we got you covered, man. <laughs> there we go. Good. <laughs> well, I've actually I shot pistol a little bit when I was a kid before they banned it. They, they banned pistol shooting now okay. over in the UK. So my experience is probably about 20 years ago now. Okay. So I'm pretty much starting from the word go. So, right. so if you can go over some of those techniques, that okay. would be great. Uh, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to ask you to remove the pistol from the holster, point it down range, finger off the trigger, and uh, we're going to go through, uh, first of all, just kind of getting your grip together. And what I'd like for you to do first is uh, fire about five shots into the top bullseye on this target for mm -hmm. me, the way that you would normally shoot a pistol. We're going to then evaluate what you've done and see if we can make it better. Okay. okay? So the first thing to do is we want you to charge the pistol. Uh, the pistol already has a uh, loaded magazine in it, mm -hmm. and uh, what we'd like to do now is charge around into the chamber. So you got the correct grip, and what I'd like for you to do is grab the pistol back here like this, with a yep. firm grip. Don't put your fingers over this portion of the uh, chamber. Put it right back here, pull it back, and then let it go and let it slam home. Okay, I'll put my air defenders on first. Okay, all right. Now what I'd like for you to do is uh, give me your position that you would normally shoot a pistol in and just take five very slow, very methodical shots at the top bullseye on this target right here. Is there safety? Uh, no safety at all. The Glock doesn't have, a, it doesn't have an external safety. It has internal safeties that are built into the trigger. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing to flip up or down or move around. Okay, so when cool. you squeeze the trigger, then it, it, it disengages the safety automatically. Okay. okay. ahead and uh, holster the pistol and let's talk about what you've done. All right now looking at your target there what I'm seeing is you've got several shots below the bullseye. Yep. All right you've got a couple in that's really good you seem to be improving a little bit as you went along and looking at your grip and your stance there's two things that I see immediately we need to do. Okay first we need to work on your grip mm -hmm. and what I always like to do with a pistol is get a really high grip on the pistol. If you don't mind let me go ahead and pull the pistol out. All right, and I'll take it and show you. I'll demonstrate for you here. I like to get a high grip in the pistol, okay? Yeah. When you were firing, I was watching, and you had a, a bit of a gap through here, and so you're not fully controlling the pistol when it happens. So what you want to do is get a really good grip in here, really high on the pistol, all right? And then we want to have a bit of a, a uh, tension through here, and then we've got a gap on this side. So this thumb is straight forward. Right? Yep. We fill in the gap like a piece of a puzzle, we want this finger to go straight forward as well. And you also had your finger up here. This will tend to pull shots downward sometimes when we put pressure up there. So what we want to do is come in real firm right here, mm -hmm. okay? These fingers wrap around real firm right here. Both thumbs forward, really high grip on the pistol, okay? And then the other thing we want to do is we want to get a, our knees bent just slightly. We're going to lean into the target, okay? So when you come out here like this, you can lean in into the target, you lock the elbows out, 
So you've got what's called an isosceles stance. So it's like it's like an isosceles triangle. Yeah. It gives you a really solid stance. So your knees are slightly bent, your arms are locked out like this, your thumbs are forward, high grip, finger on the trigger, squeeze, squeeze the shot off. Okay. okay. Does I can that do make that. sense? Some perfect sense, yeah. Okay. Let's try that then. Okay. All right. Same target. All right. Lean yourself forward a little bit. Get your, your legs spread a little bit wider. All right. Yep. Now, take your time. Squeeze the trigger. Concentrate on the sights. Concentrate on the front side as much as possible and line it up between the rear sights. Now, holster the weapon. Now, do we see improvement? <laughs> yeah. We that's see immediate improvement, right? Well, that's like an inch and a half group now. Absolutely. So. That is a fantastic group. So you went from shredding your group out, what, six inches maybe? Yeah. Okay. Which would still be deadly, I mean, you know, in, in a combat situation. But taking these fundamentals in, in one quick, very short little lesson, you went from a six inch group to probably an inch and a half group. Well, let's just kind of have a look at this. Let's take a look at it, seriously. <clears throat> now, Ian, what we've got here is, uh, I was watching your shots as you were taking the first five shots, okay? And these were your first first shots. I believe this was your first shot. Okay. Okay. And then some of these were, were mixed up from there on out. So this is your first group that you shot uh, using your stance, your trigger control, your grip. Okay, and I identified a couple of things that you were doing that we needed to correct, okay? Then I asked you to take five more shots after that. And so then after that, you shot this group right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that's, that's excellent. Oh, that thank you. a very good group. I had a great teacher. Okay. <laughs> hey, what can we say? But anyway, you know, that, that is a, a market improvement in just one quick lesson. So, you know, those are the kind of things that we can teach people out here when they come out. Basic uh, pistol instruction that's going from zero to uh, building that, that basis that we're going to need to later on if we want to compete or if we want to be proficient in uh, self-defense. Mm -hmm. You know, those are the things that we can do to help people. So we went from this to this, all in a matter of what, five that, minutes. Yeah, that's it. Phenomenal. Yeah. No, that's incredible. Hey. Thank you very much. For Outstanding, that. man. Been... Really good job. So what's next? Well, next I think we'll go back and uh, we'll look at maybe a mag change mm -hmm. and uh, also talk about our sights a little bit more and uh, just kind of go through a couple more basics. Cool, let's do it. Okay. Good.